Report, okay. We missed the first, the most important part, but it's okay. P published in the top right. <laughs> That's not okay. I totally <laughs> forgot. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's not, it's, I, I'm following this stuff step by step. I need all the steps. I know, I know. I, I have other videos online that show everything. I just, I completely forgot. Okay. Just click publish. It's, it's weird because when I, when I schedule a Zoom meeting, yeah. it automatically records. But when I send you the link, it doesn't, which is just, that's my fault. No excuses. Um, and then we're gonna go to edit with Elementor on top. Oh. Amazing. And then we're gonna click on the file folder. File folder. In the center of the page, you're gonna see a file folder. Gray oh. circle with a file folder. Right. A slice of toast. And then uh, my templates. Perfect. Select landing page, insert. Yes. Okay. So just update the page. Update the page. Yes, sir. Where? Oh, okay. all the way on the bottom. Just update. Awesome. And then click on your form. Perfect. Let's switch that to so select form, health insurance, switch it to your uh, final expense. Amazing. And that's, that's it. And then update. Again, it looks a little weird on desktop view, but we're making it so it's mobile optimized. So. Right, right, right. All right. And then just update on the bottom. Okay. Perfect. Next up is let's go back to our dashboard. Okay, let's go to our forms. I just want to verify that we're routing all the forms to the right thank you pages. So hover over auto insurance, set hover over settings, confirmations. Amazing. Let's switch the form in the top under the Gravity Forms logo. Click on auto insurance. Go to final expense. Confirmations. Perfect. All right. So that's all done. Our conversion tracking is done. Our first ad is done. Second ad is done too. Um, I mean, I think at this point it would just be we either wrap it up or we just go over anything that you're confused with personally. So we can just, uh, so I can help you cover that. You know, here's, here's what I'm going to have to do with everything that we I make from the beginning. And this is why I want all the steps. Gotcha. Because I just want to do it a hundred times. Right. So I just like the first time I just want to do it, like follow each step and build something from scratch. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and then there you go. So I need the recording on one screen <laughs> and me on the other, so I can pause it and then do it. Gotcha. That's what I, are, I mean, the, your site and your Facebook ads and your Facebook page is all done. So this would be for like another website you're building, correct? Correct. Yeah, because like I said, I want to I want to drive leads into the everything the Credit Suite and the and the Nova Tech and the blah 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 blah. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to start practicing building those pages. Okay. So any recordings that you have that you yeah, might... I have like five or six recordings. I just have to get them all edited and I'm going to send those over to you. Okay. So as soon as we can get those, and then also if you have any recordings on, because we we skipped the whole how to do a Facebook that whole Facebook page that we built. Yeah. For insurance, we didn't record any of that. Gotcha. That's going to be in, you can find that in inside of the videos on how to create the Facebook page and stuff. Oh, uh, where do I find that? Inside of the, inside of your, inside of the Google Drive. Up here? Yes. It should be in there. Is this in what, like website setup? Yeah. Try, try going into bestautoquotes.us. No, that, that's your domain setup for Cloudways. Uh, 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 it might be in, it's one of the videos in there. 
It's, it might, it may have it. Not auto insurance. Oh, I have to upload that form, that website. Um, try and Medicare training videos. Yeah, it should be in one of one of, one of these. Yeah, I create the page in there as well. But the okay, Facebook well, page, Facebook pages that don't even worry about the face. That's the easiest part to do. Yeah, no, fair enough. But you know, easy and simple, right? <laughs> different things, right? I'm sure it's the, like the simplest step, but it's not easy if I don't know what to click. So I'll go. I'll look through all of this and I'll fill in the blanks from from our videos. Amazing. Let me see. And then I'll practice, and then I want to get back with you again for uh, Google and the fast track stuff. Okay. Are are you are you uh, using Google for? Are you doing mortgages at all? I'm not. I'm not doing mortgages anymore. Okay. I am not. I'm sending you a picture. Let me know if you get it. How are you sending it? Text. This is all the different things that we did together. Okay, just as a like in a time lapse reference way. That's everything we've done together. Okay. Okay. In in order of sequence. So th this is essentially the step by step to building a website with all of the added things that uh, you have to do as well. So from the very beginning where we created our Facebook, where we purchased our domain, Google verified, created our custom domain to hosting plus SSL and Cloudways, everything in WordPress, everything we did for the templates, all of the Facebook business stuff. That's just like a visual reference of everything that we did. So it'll be able to, uh, it'll be better for you on the, when you're listening to the videos. Oh, okay. All right, cool. That helps. Did you get it? Can you read my handwriting? Yeah, well, I can't read your handwriting, but. Can you decide? I can, probably, it? I, can, I can probably figure it out, right? Okay, no problem. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then go through everything. But that that does help uh, to see that. And then, um, are you using like? Because uh, I know that there's like a, like oh gosh, like all in one toolkits, like um, oh god, what is it, man? Wix. Really... No, it's it's like uh, uh, um. What is it? You know, you build the you build the page and it has the email and text and everything like right in it, like funnel, click funnels. Oh like yeah. That. Have you used that before? I have. I used WooCommerce instead of Click Funnels. WooCommerce. Yeah, it was cart. It's called a. Uh, I used a a copy of WooCommerce. Okay. It's a free copy called Cart Flows. Okay. Yeah, that, that's, that a whole, that's a whole separate training though, because that's about like funnel building. Yeah. That's gonna take us at least three hours to go over. Okay. That's, so what like do you funnel, use? that's like funnel building. What I would do there is I would run traffic directly to the landing page. Yeah. It would give them a free, something free to capture their data. Like, hey, give us your email address for a free gift. And then it would jump into um, selling my eBooks and selling the business credit. Uh, yeah, it worked. It worked really well in the beginning. I was making really nice profit, and then for some reason on Google, everything just turned off. Uh, my conversion ratio completely shot away, and then it just completely stopped making money. Well, when you say business credit, what were you selling? So I, I had like a a six series of ebooks. Yeah, okay. I can show you. Let me uh, let me show you instead. Hey, let me screen share with you. Oh, I deleted it. Oh, no, I didn't delete it. I turned it off. So right here.
So th this is where it all started. <laughs> okay. And you say everything just shut down? I don't get it. You no, know, like it, it, it was it, it was having so whenever you build something on cart flows or WooCommerce, that yeah. has to be your whole site. So what I was doing was I was capturing the lead for business loans and then forwarding them to a landing page on my website with cart flows. But it threw something off on on uh, Google. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it, this is how it works. You know how to credit builder flow? Yeah. Right, and then they can come here and they can purchase. Yeah, I actually just build the different flows in here, right? And this one is like an opt-in. They opt in, they get a free book, and then okay. it tries to sell them on a business credit building ebook. Okay. For like nine ninety seven. I was trying to use this as a way to cover my lead costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they check out and it goes to the thank you page. And then it has like a series of upsells in the email. So what I would do here, everybody that purchased this, I would contact them about business credit, but it became a little overwhelming. So I just dropped it and then it stopped generating leads. So I just said, all right, I'm moving, I'm moving on. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. The issue with me with business loans was I, I originally set a goal to make a hundred thousand in business loans on the website on sbloans.us. My goal was to make a hundred grand. Yeah. And I, and I ended up surpassing that goal. I ended up making like 200 and something thousand sure. in revenue. So I was like, look, I spoke with Phil. I, I was like, Hey, I need some strategy here. You know, you know, lead costs for business loans has gone up exponentially. I was getting my leads for like 75 cents to a dollar and it went up to about six bucks. Yeah. Right. My conversion rate also went down, even though my ads were optimized. So yeah. I spoke with Phil, I was like, hey, strategy call here. What can I do? You know, I hit my goal. Uh, what should I do? And he, yeah. and he started talking about his goals. And he was like, yeah, so my goal was to do this, this, and that. And now I'm cashing out. You know, I'm done with it. I'm going to move on and I'm going to figure something else out. So I took that as inspiration. I was like, look, if this guy hits his goals just for discipline, I hit my goal and I'm going to move on. Right. So I'm gonna okay. Do. Okay. All right. So having said that then, Right, because um, I I understand the the business loan and rock, which I'm not really wild about, only because I've been in the space long enough. I know what they're doing, and so uh, if I'm putting money they're all into doing the same thing, they're all doing the same thing. The only way to maximize your return would be if you manually managed all of your leads. You got the applications and bank statements and submitted them to rock yourself. That's the only way to have true 100% accountability for right. your leads, which means you would have to work all your leads or you can get like an assistant, a virtual assistant to work the leads for you. You get me make the appointments, you make the calls, you get the applications. Yeah, yeah, But that's not really, but that pulls me off track though. That's not really, yeah. that's not what I'm looking to do. I mean, I just, what you can do is auto, you can also automate the process. You can have like a scheduling link inside of your emails Right. And then you can you can further qualify the lead. So they would get into the email, they go to your scheduling link. Hey, are you looking? Are you really looking for business funding? What are you actually looking for? Business funding, business credit, or credit repair, personal loan, right? And you can set an appointment for that. And then you can really, you know, you can set it to take only the appointments for for your business loans or business credit. Yeah, but and look, is that what you're doing? Are you doing that? That's what I did in the very beginning. And that's when I get, the, that's when I got the best results. What happened was then I started scaling and I couldn't handle the flow. So yeah. I had to push it off to someone else, but you know, you're trading accountability and transparency for time. Right. Right. So you have to make sure that one, you're either getting paid up front for each lead or two, you know, you have a personal relationship with the person, you know, your leads are getting worked honestly and trustworthy. So they're all the same, all, all business loan brokers are the same. They want free leads. They want all the volume they can give them. They're going to close a, some deals, some deals here and there. You know, some of them are going to fall through. You're not going to hear about it. It's, it's a big gray area. I couldn't stand it. 
Is that what's going on with Rock? Um, what's going on with Rock? I have no idea what's going on with Rock. Like for me, I sent Rock about. I don't even know, man. I can. I sent Rock a shit ton of leads. Yeah. What's the loan broker? I sent Rock so many leads, man. And you're going to see what I did here with them, but it's not, it wasn't, yeah. It's like 24, 4, 3,400 leads submitted. I only got four deals out of that, which doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, what? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so I was, I was very frustrated at this. And when I called them, I was like, yo, what the hell's going on here? He told me, yeah, we've, you know, you told, you told us you were selling your leads. So we didn't give them priority. And I was like, who the fuck are you not to give my leads priority? <laughs> like this, this literally cost me almost $40,000. Right, right. How much I made, you know, from them. Right. Wow. Thought I had my affiliates and other stuff and I could cover that cost. Yeah. But with Rock, this was not what, what I was expecting. All right. So when you said that, 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 that Phil has moved on from that, have they, has he moved on from Rock? So he, he, he's not moving on from rock. What, what Phil's doing is he's selling loan broker network. He's selling majority stake for consulting stake. So he's going to, he's going to sell everything and then keep like 25% and just have someone else manage it and run it. And then he's just going to own stock in it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I, I made I made some money with Zach. I made some money with Rock. I, I you always make some money with brokers, but it always feels like it's just enough to keep going. You get me? So I said fuck yeah. it, sell my leads, and then I started selling them, and then I just got tired of it, and then I I jumped off. I hit my goal. I'm done. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So I know where you want to go. Yeah. But but where? Because here's here's why I'm asking the question, right? Here's why I'm asking the question, because I, I don't care about business loans, right? Business credit. Yeah, I can sell some of that. Business and, credit is so valuable. And I have a, and I have an upsell for that. Right. So that I like, I don't, I do not care about the mortgage thing at all. Right. So for mortgages, before you, before you say that you can, the mortgages is amazing. Right, your right. lead cost was expensive, but Phil's lead cost for mortgages is not about. I think it's like between eight and fifteen dollars per lead. Okay. So the 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 beauty of mortgages is when you do an ad just to find money for your business, right? Right. Business in our mind, right? We have LLCs, we have business bank accounts, but quote unquote business. Yeah couldn't be someone who has a cash app account and he cuts grass quote unquote business can be someone who sells hair can, can be quote unquote someone who does nails right yeah. they're, they're doing their own business but they're not legally verified in llc so sure. that's the kind of lead that you generate with business loan ads right right but think about the demographic that's buying a home business owner or not right you got a one you got to make sure you have good credit you got to make sure you have at least $20,000 saved up for your down payment. You right. have to make sure that you have a solid job, solid income, solid business to make those payments. Right. So it's a whole different demographic of person. So and I learned this from Phil when he generates a business mortgage lead. Yeah. That same lead that's making 10 K and above also is a much, much, much higher qualified lead for business loans and business credit. So the, the enough. Is more expensive because it's a smaller pool of people, right? You're looking specifically for someone who owns a business right? and wants to buy a house. Yeah, fair enough. So that lead is so much more qualified for all the B2B services that we offer. Because yeah. if, if you own a business, you're trying to buy a house, you're not gonna show up without bank records. Right. Yeah, no, and that makes sense. And I, I guess, I guess my, my point is I'm not interested in selling mortgages so yeah. much as I'm interested in the mortgage lead. Because I understand the value of the mortgage lead. Phil sells one mortgage lead for $50. But who does he sell them to? 
he has a mortgage lead buyer. And that's what I'm looking to do. That's, that's the part. business I want to be in. Yeah. That's is the, that. So if you can, if you can generate business loan lead, if you can generate mortgage leads, talk to Phil and tell him, Hey, I'm generating a couple of leads a day uh, for mortgages. Is there any way that, you know, we can sell these off to someone and see how they perform. Right. Is anyone willing to test my leads for me? What Phil does is he chops and screws that lead so many times. He'll take the mortgage lead. He'll sell it for 50 bucks. That's about like 15, 20, 30 percent of the right. lead. Right. And that alone covers the advertising. OK. Everybody else who's qualified for business loans gets sold for 15 bucks. Whether they're a business loan lead or a mortgage lead. So that there's an overlap with that initial 30 percent. Got it. And then you have the uh, refi leads. So the leads that select mm. refinance or reverse mortgage, he pushes them off into another affiliate funnel. Mm. And he also sells the mortgage credit repair leads because there's no better lead than someone who's looking for a mortgage and also needs credit repair. That's right. a guaranteed credit repair fix. Right. And he sells those leads for like six or seven dollars. Right. Okay. So Monetize right. all those data in different spaces. It's like an awkward. And that and that makes perfect sense. And that's what I'm looking to do with my life is that. Right. Gotcha. 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 So if if you're wondering what direction all of this is taking, that's the direction this is taking. Gotcha. Yeah. So you just you just want to be like 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 for for rock. The reason why you know I I didn't cry about it. I was I was pissed, but I didn't cry yeah. about rock's results. Was because I was selling my leads also. I was selling my leads. I was working my leads. They were going into my emails. You know, they were going into follow-up marketing affiliates. So I was doing it there. I was making enough money. I was yes. upset because Rock was my pure profit and they, they didn't deliver. Right. Now, fair enough. But I didn't think Rock was going to deliver anyway. Yeah, and the Rock, Rock is good. So, so what I do with Rock, I send them the bad credit business loan leads. And then the good yeah. credit business loan leads, I push them off to finance factory. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, doing, so you're doing finance factory. But, but in, okay. in, in reality, in reality, if someone is telling me they got 680 plus credit and they need a business loan and yeah. on the form they're telling me that, I, that they make more than 10K per month, that's the kind of, that's only like 6% of my leads. So if I generate 200 leads a day, that's like 12, 12 text messages I got to send in one day. Yeah. And that's where you're going to generate most of your revenue. Because this guy's like, hey, I make $50,000 a month. I have a 720 right. credit score. I don't want to use personal credit. I just want to get a business loan at a good rate, right? And then that's right. when that's the best lead to get an application for. Because they'll yeah. all get approved, right? They may not take the deal because they have access to other options, right? Right, Mer right. Merchant cash advance is so tight. Because they want that perfect lead. They want you to have bad credit and a good business. So you're <laughs> locked. You can't get money anywhere else except yeah. dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. No, I, I, totally, I totally understand yeah. that. They, want, totally that, understand they that. want that rare lead that has great revenue, but bad credit. Yeah, because because I was, and understand, I was in the consulting space, right? So I'm, I fully understand finance, you know, the, the, MCAs, they have, a, they have a place and they fit in that small, you know, you can wedge them in there in that small space. And right, they work. They work for companies that do the work, right? If you're doing 50K yeah. in revenue, doing yeah. 50K in revenue, you're making a healthy profit margin, right? And it's verified over the last six months, one year, right? Sure. If I give you 50,000, you're just going to replace that 50,000 with what you're operating now. And now you've got 50K in cash to play with. Right, right. That's the yeah. objective. But what ends up happening is you find a lot of companies are doing between five and 15 K, right. They had some good months. The last two months were bad. They right. 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 Oh, trust float. me. I know. Yeah. Some money to float. So it's a little tough right now. Right. Gotcha. So they get a smaller amount at a higher interest rate. Your loan commission is smaller. That's the majority of the deals. The majority of the deals I closed were like between 250 bucks and a thousand dollars commission. Right. Okay. And I think I had one deal that made like 2,500 or 2,800. <laughs> right. No, I get it, man. I, I understand. That's, that's, that's why I'm saying I'm not, I'm not interested in getting on the phone. I don't want to sell business loans. I don't want to sell more. I just want the lead. I want to sling data and I want to chop it. Best. And, best thing. 
that is that's exactly what I'm looking to do. So the first my first step with with all of this technical stuff is to is to figure it out well enough and then just just build it and then get back together again. I want to talk about Google. Okay. Uh, do you, are you doing YouTube? I think I already asked you that. I am. I forget. Yes. Okay. So I want to talk about Google and YouTube. If you have good videos, YouTube is amazing. Are you are you are you using like um, like anything? Because because I what was it called? Yeah, I can't remember anything. There's like there's like some YouTube systems out there, like Tube Sift. That's what it was called. Tube Sift. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's as uh, it's like a keyword system that helps you. I don't know. Whatever. We, we we'll talk about it. Because I want to go over, I want to get get Google YouTube, and I want to get set up so that I'm that I'm actually able to sell leads. So I, I think I have that. What was that? What was that? Uh, marketplace you were talking about? It's not Max Bounty, but it's something else. What is it? Offer Vault. Offer. Offer Vault. All right. Yeah. So Max Bounty denied all of my requests. By the way. Really. Yeah. I'm not doing enough volume. They're like, nah, we kind of like you, but not that's really that weird. Much. I max on you accepts everybody. Yeah, well, not from the the offers that I was going after because I was trying to do like life. Oh insurance. yeah, no. If you want to, if you're in max bounty, you have to send you have to send traffic to your pre-approved offers first. Get some revenue going, and then you talk to your affiliate manager and tell her, hey, I'd like to go to another a better offer for this here so like what i was doing was i was sending it to personal loan it was like white rock loans the worst personal loan website on the history of the planet yeah and i sent them enough traffic that i could tell max bounty i was like hey i want zippy loans because zippy loans is like a top payer and a top uh lead buyer in the industry and yeah. they approved me because i had previous history with white rock loans yeah well that's cool i thought i had enough history with them but i guess it was too long ago and they're like yeah no so i gotta figure something else out yeah it's just one offer vault offer vault would be the easiest so whatever offer you want personal loans business loans yeah yeah, yeah. you can yeah. find calls you can find everything buyers for everything you already you're you already familiar you found your auto on there yeah okay. well that wasn't you that wasn't you that found auto so that, that was david no, that wasn't me but that's okay no i i understand all right so let me i'll, I'll go through that if you'll send me those those videos, I can get started on the technical aspect and start building some stuff. I have a call with Phil today. Amazing. So I'm gonna chat with him about just selling. I just I just want to be a lead generator. Yeah. That's it. I get it. It was the best place to go. Like Phil, I told him at the peak of my business loan lead gen, I was like, hey bro, I need someone to buy my leads. What's going on? He was like, I got you. You plugged me in and you bought my leads. Oh, that's cool. We just forwarded them somewhere else and someone else paid them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what I, I need to talk with them about that. Because at the very least, even if I'm just getting my feet wet with this, like I want to get my feet wet doing Yeah. What you just got to get started. You know, you don't have to do a lot of flow. You don't have to do a lot of traffic. You just want to yeah. test. Always like that's the key word. Whenever you talk right. to a lead buyer, don't say, hey, buy my leads. Do it like in a way that you don't care. You're like, hey man, I'm generating like 20, 30 leads a day. Can I send you a hundred to test? Yeah. And you're like, okay, yeah, how much is it? Oh, 10 bucks a lead. All right, let's do it. Right. And yeah. then th they're gonna give you the most right lead buyers. The second that a business pays for the lead, yeah, they're either gonna tell you that your leads suck and never buy again, or they're gonna tell you that your leads suck and they're gonna keep buying. But they only told, <laughs> they only told you that your leads suck, so you can bring the price down. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. but it's counterintuitive. They're like, oh yeah, you know the quality wasn't up to par. I'd like to try another hundred. Can you give me a better price? You're like, so you, it wasn't good, but you want another hundred. <laughs> 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 yeah, the game. You know you're in. Yes. That's you know you're in. Yeah, yeah. All right. Right, so, but but just think of the perspective. We've all bought age data. We've all bought live data, right? Right. And right. in reality. When you buy them from huge data sources, they're always like, uh, I had a meeting with Lendio. Yeah. And they told me when they buy a lead from someone, when they like, they'll, they'll buy a lead from me for 20 bucks. Yeah. 
they will work all of my data and then they'll sell every lead three times for $20 each. Oh, wow. So they will literally close the deals first. Yeah. They'll make their commission. Yeah. And they will sell each lead three times. Nice. But it's Lendio. That's a multi-billion dollar company. Sure, sure, sure. You get me? So when someone says, I want to buy leads from Lendio, you know, Lendio is like, yeah, this is our price. And the leads are shared. So either you, either you want it or you don't. And people are like, oh, it's Lendio. I'll pay him. Yeah, makes sense. That's cool. Good for them. And just to give you the, the potential, just to give you the potential in the sphere, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of lead buyers. Well, and I and I understand the potential. Like I but I have my I have one eye on that horizon. And then I have my other eye on where I'm at right now. Gotcha. So I, I understand I'm taking the first step, a couple steps, whatever, and I'm just starting. And that's fine. I just want to feel comfortable. I'm a very bloom where you are sort of a person, right? So I want to be the best first step guy. And I'll, I'll worry about the second step tomorrow. But for right now, I want to be the best right here. And then eventually I'll look, you know, I'm on the horizon. That's awesome. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, that's, so, that's the best thing, you know, like just, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird to describe it like this, but I always use myself as an example. You get me like, look at where I started with business loans yeah. and look at where I am now. Right. right. And it, and it was never, and I realized it took me a little bit to realize this, you know, I, I, almost a year and a half, right. I had to hit my goal, surpass my goal, go through a bunch of trials and tribulations, success yeah. Yeah. before I realized this. And I was like, I'm not a business loan broker. Yeah. I'm right. I'm a consultant. I'm a website designer right. and I'm a lead generator. Right. And once you take all of those things, right, it creates a new foundation for you. Yeah. So once I made that realization, hey, I can build websites, I can build ads, I can generate leads for any vertical. Now that became the new bottom of my period. So we have the yeah. first layer would be those three. And then on top of that would be all my verticals, right? Right. health insurance auto insurance uh final expense business loans credit repair all of those different verticals then start to span out and make more sense so instead of building one thing like me i spent a whole year working on sb loans on my mm -hmm. business loan website right yeah. learning google learning facebook learning website design sure learning, sure sure yeah. elementor yeah. wordpress everything and then yeah. i realized holy shit i can replicate this for anything yeah right well, you right. know, that's we that. but that's that, but that's the first step that most people skip. And this is why I'm saying, yeah. like, I'm at, I'm at the first step. And the first step is deciding who you want to be in all of this. Like, exactly. what do you want to really do? If not, then it's just, you're, you're, honestly, it's like pushing on the ocean. Exactly. So, sometimes people, and, and I see this, I've done, I, I do the onboarding calls for Phil. I help people yeah. that just join. Yeah. I, I see this so many times, Right they signed up to be a business loan broker or they signed up to be a business mortgage broker and their mind is so fixated on business loans and business mortgage that they don't realize they, they did it. They did the work, but they don't realize the work and the effort they put in to generate that lead or to build that ad or to right. help optimize the website. And they yeah, forget yeah, yeah. about that and they only focus on the end product yeah. of the business right. or the business mortgage. It takes a little time to realize, hey, the skills that I used to, to build successful or not to build this business, business loans, business mortgage, I can use those skills and transfer them to my own personal business, to any other vertical. That's the realization that takes a little bit of time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it's understanding. I think that's, that's, that's where I'm at. And that's really where I was. I mean, when, when I, when I was in Vegas a year ago and, uh, you know, it's sitting in the mastermind and I'm like, Whoa, wait a minute. I don't want to sell loans. I don't want to be a loan guy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it, it sounds fun. It sounds fun. And then you do it. You're like, this sucks. <laughs> no, it does suck. I don't want to deal with the general public. And that's what I did all last year. And I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do this. I feel more yeah. comfortable in a different environment. Yeah. 
but and but the, the idea is the, i always do this like i hate feeling comfortable i'm always yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm always seeking discomfort right yeah, I, yeah i'm not talking like financially or you know in my life or i'm talking like in my mind in my learning space i'm always searching for discomfort yeah so the second i get comfortable that's a warning signal to me that says hey you need to do something new and learn something new yeah so like like last night i just got this new offer from a law firm for storm damage mm. right people who went through like hurricane ida and hurricane yeah irma in louisiana um they had like home property damage right okay. and the yeah i had was damn i can generate leads for this and i can make it happen right and i okay. booked a website i did all that stuff and that that's the realization i want you want you guys to see like this is this spans so much deeper than just business loans yeah oh no i get it all time believe me i get it i would have 100 verticals going i just i gotta start with one exactly. right and so i'm looking at and so the way like i'm looking at the the um you know the, the the fast track website that they're building right now it has like you know with the kevin harrington or whatever blah 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 that's that's for me to practice google youtube i'm just generating leads that's all i'm doing right but as far as like any other vertical man i just i i'll just build my own and go sell leads that's it that's it so you gotta do so, so sh uh, look, if shoes are uh, selling, I'll sell. That's why. That's why I love. That's why I love Phil's masterminds. I met this lead buyer for storm damage. Yeah, they're one of the biggest. Oh, they they they're a lead. They're a lead generator for law firms. Okay. They have so many different uh, mass tort law. Yeah. Offers, right? And I met this person through Phil, right? We're talking, yeah. we finished, we set it, we set everything up. We set everything up last night. You get me? This goes into the discomfort part because they asked me to do things that I've never done before. Right. They were okay. like, hey, we need you to install a trusted form certificate inside of your website and then make sure that you pass all of our different fields. I was like, I've never done this before. Usually it's automatic, but their yeah. system is manual. I had to learn that. I did that last night. You get me, but I know yeah. where to search. I know what to search. I know right. What to, this company is paying me ten thousand dollars up front for the lead. Nice, nice. Right, which is amazing. I know I can deliver on that. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. But the value of that is I got it through Phil. So whatever lead right, you're whatever lead buyers that you're trying to find, even if you go to a mastermind, I've gone to a mastermind and sold leads at a mastermind. So. But, oh, okay. Well, first of all, to, to wrap that up, I'm telling you, I, that's why I paid the money. Yeah. That's why I renewed fast track and yeah. I got the tickets to all the masterminds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, like, I get it. Like yeah. there's there, you're not hearing any complaints from me at all. Yeah. When I ask all of these questions, look, I've been around no, the block. The way, I get yeah, it. The way, I love it. And when I talk about, when I talk about Phil, I talk about this, that I have nothing but respect even if it doesn't sound like it, I just say that, right. I, that, that I know there's something going on. It's all and about I, perspective. It's all perspective. Yeah, but I just when when I hear people talking about, this, I know there's something going on. That's why I knew to ask about the loan broker network. Like something something's going on with that, right? And it's not bad. I'm just saying, I'd like to know. Um. So, so when it comes to, so when it comes to Phil as a resource and as a, as a, as a trusted advice, yes, pay the money. That's why I got in. The second thing is when, do you know when the next mastermind is? I believe it's in February ish. Yeah. But mid Feb, uh, second half of February, first half of March ish. <laughs> so, they, <laughs> so they haven't figured it out then yet. Yeah, it's it's between sometime between that time. That wow, that's a big window of time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. a few weeks away, but I think it's going to be in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I figured it was going to be in Florida. Yeah, when, when I think of loan broker network, right? Yeah, I think of the word network. Yeah, 
Because in reality, what Phil is doing is he's bringing multiple people in to a room with his business idea, right? Yeah. This, yeah. This, is, this is Phil Smith. I'm a lone lead broker. This yeah. is what I do. This is how I do it. You guys can jump in and copy and try. You get me? What he really yeah. wants to do is, is give an effort, right? Listen, man, I, I've probably said this hundreds of times. People who have paid $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 to fill, multiple yeah. $20,000 to fill. And I, yeah. I, I, I do their onboarding calls and I do their support calls. And I ask them, like, do you watch the videos? I'm like, no. Yeah. Have you even logged into the course? No. Who's Phil Smith? Like, <laughs> at that point, at that point, that's what they're saying. Who, who the hell is Phil Smith? Yeah, right. $20,000 and I'm not even taking advantage of it. It's true. <laughs> and I'm it's so true. Surprised. I know it. I know. I'm so surprised, right? They expect it to just be <laughs> given to them and handed on a silver platter. Oh, but yeah. That's not how business runs. That's how a nine to five runs. Yeah, but no, no. The reason I laugh is is because I, I was just on the phone yesterday uh, with a guy that I met in Arizona. Uh, not Arizona. He's from Arizona. He was in Vegas, right? Gotcha. And, and he he was just he's like Mister Mister Loan Broker guy and the whole thing, right? The whole thing. And so he came on board with us to to pass along for uh, like personal um, personal credit repair leads that we were doing. Gotcha. So he's one of our affiliates. And then he went to work with uh, Timo, Timo, yeah. wh whoever, right? That didn't work out. Like nothing worked out for this guy at all. Like nothing. Nothing ever works out until it does. Right. Yeah. Right. But I, but then he would, called me up and he was like, oh yeah, I just spent 10,000 on, you know, Carlos. I'm gonna do the paper, paper call and the thing did that didn't work out. I mean, the guy's just spending tons of money, right? Tons so of money. I I had a conversation with Carlos specific, and I had a conversation with Phil specifically about this. They both gave me the same exact answer. Yeah. I, I, I asked them straight up. I was like, bro, what the hell is going on? I'm getting people saying this is a scam. This is this, this is, this is that, you know, they're saying it doesn't work for them. And, and it, Carlos's response to me was look at your results, right? Look at your results with me. Look at your results with Phil. If I'm going to use Bob as an example, right? Yeah. Carlos looks at me. He goes flat out. He goes, Paper call doesn't work for Bob because paper call doesn't work for Bob. Yeah, That's right. You know, because, because how are you going to tell me that there's no value here when students are succeeding and you're not? So you're doing something that they're not. That's oh, automatically yeah. what I assume. And, and I'm the same way with anybody that I train and that I help. When they come back to me like, hey, I'm not getting any results. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Yeah. And it, it tells me automatically what's going on they stopped learning and they stopped applying. Oh yeah. No, I mean, this Either is, one this is obvious. It was the Either same conversation I had yesterday with, with Chris, right? Because he called me up. He's like, man, I'm in a spot. Cause I, I had to go pick up painting gigs. Like he's a painter now Yeah. to put food on the table. And I'm like, dude, well, what happened to you? Right. Th there it is. Right. Don't tell him, Hey, you're doing painting gigs. And you learned how to generate leads. Why don't you generate leads to paint in your area? That's right. The, right. It's like it, he's going back to painting because it's something he knows, something he's skilled at. Right. Right. So well, he's going back on that comfort. But take what you learned in lead gen, generate calls for your painting business. Well, and that's what I said as I, as I told him, I'm like, well, you know, you have to put food on the table. I get it. I get that you don't want to be a painter. It's perspective, but you obviously wanted to be a painter more than you wanted to generate leads and, and exactly. sell loans and whatever. And then he's like, yeah, but I wanted to work with you and, you know, sell your, your, your corporate build stuff. And, you know, maybe I can make a commission. Yeah, on no, that. no. What happened is what happened is he fell for the loan broker dream, uh -huh. but he didn't fall for the network dream. Right. You get me? So he saw so much potential in, like I was saying earlier, he saw so much potential in loan broker, in yeah. business credit, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortgage. And believe me, the potential is there. But he failed to make the distinction and the connection between all of the online infrastructure that you use to do business loans and business mortgage. And he failed to make that connection. So he was like, 
for him, it was like new life, new life and old life. Right, right. In reality, new life could be connected to old life. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But th then he wanted to... <sighs> I know people who paint who make $1,000 a day. <laughs> right? Like, hey, there's nothing wrong with... Look, there's nothing wrong there's with There's nothing painting. wrong with it. You get me? And I... for painting. And especially for doing it, like if, if you're, if you're, if someone's calling you, I'll give you 200 bucks to paint my living room. Right. And you get a couple of jobs a month that might not be motivational, but if someone calls you up like, Hey, I have a 12,000 square foot house and I need all the rooms painted. I just bought it. That's like a fifteen oh. twenty thousand dollars job. And right Wait there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. Hang on a second. I got to jump off this call. No problem. No problem. All right. All right cool. I'm going to work on your videos. I'm going to see my chiropractor and I'll send that over to you. Okay. All right, cool, man. No problem. Have a safe day. Thanks. Bye.